Operation Frankton, 71 years ago, has gone down in history, been immortalised in film and books. It was a daring commando raid on the German-occupied port of Bordeaux. Ten Marines were to paddle up an estuary and attach bombs to German ships. Only two made it home. And now a team of physically and mentally injured servicemen will retrace the arduous route. I don't think it's crazy at all. You don't? No. I'm looking for my head. I love Ben's capable of doing anything. You tell the, the best thing you can do with Ben, he's telling me no chance of doing it, and he will deliver on time. Uh, he'll need help, obviously. But once he's in a boat, he's stronger and fitter than nine out of ten people. Do you like being in the water? I don't uh, have many toys to <laughs> Lord Ashdown, himself a former member of the Special Boat Service, who's something of an authority on the cockle shell mission, passed on his advice to the canoeists. I suspect if you ask one of those ten Marines who paddled in 71 years ago into the Gironde estuary what they thought of this, they would probably say they couldn't imagine a better way for them to be remembered uh, than these guys doing the same thing. The great niece of one of the two Marines who didn't survive the water that night in December 1942 has nothing but admiration for those taking on this feat. The Gironde River is really quite wide and really quite rough. You know, it's, uh, I know that um, when Paddy was talking earlier, he was saying that don't sail into the mouth because it is really got rip tides, very very rough there, um, and that was where my great uncle, you know, um, ended up capsizing in his. Um, canoe. Former Corporal Andy Reid keeps challenging himself despite having three limbs missing. He's having a prosthetic arm made which will clamp on to a paddle. What happens if your arm floats away? I'm not sure. Someone will have to go and get it, won't they? Someone will have to, someone best start swimming pretty quickly and Do you have bring a spare? it back. I haven't got a spur, maybe I should get maybe I should get one, yeah, so maybe I should get a spare one. <laughs> If your appetite for adventure has been whetted, it's not too late to book your place. Pilgrim Bandits has a few spare seats in the canoes. The Cockleshell Challenge is set for June. Julie Knox, Forces News, Westminster.